So today I'm attempting to bring this old bamboo fence back to life. I don't know exactly how old this is, but you could tell that it's been out here for at least a few years, if not more than a few, put it that way. So we'll see. So this is before. So I didn't really show exactly how I mixed up the solution to clean the fence, but I did just want to show you the differences and tell you what I did use. So the fencing on the left side is when I first took it off of my chain link fence. The previous um, people that lived there had attached the bamboo there. It's four foot tall uh, bamboo fencing. Still very sturdy, very well put together, um, clearly very old also. Uh, definitely has some mold on it. Some kind of green looking gunk, don't know what it is exactly. Um, the middle piece is immediately after I washed it. So that is it pretty wet and saturated. And then the piece that's on the right is right after um, it's been cleaned and dried out in the sun. And it really did dry very quickly, it didn't take long. I used a solution of white vinegar, hot water or warm water and Dawn soap to clean the fencing. Worked perfectly and I used the brush here that I got from Lowe's. It works really, really nice. Also, I wanted to show that there is a difference between me actually scrubbing them and them just being wet. So if I were to dip the brush in and just wet it, kind of, you could see just from that small sample, it would just stay that color. Once I give it a good scrub, it comes back to life. It's awesome. In addition, once I did scrub all of that fencing by hand, I smartened up. I got a cheap sprayer from the hardware store. I mixed my solution of vinegar, Dawn, and hot water into there and I was able to spray down the fencing and then scrub afterwards. So I kind of gave it a soak. I just did it section by section because the solution does dry after a while. So you do have to take your time and just do little sections at a time. But once I did that, I used the stain that I bought. Just, you can get any deck stain. I wanted a darker stain, so I chose a semi-transparent one from the hardware store. And that's the color I was looking for. And if you do a few layers, it gets darker, so. Okay, so here's what we had originally. Um, and this is before it was clean. It was up for years. And you see there's some wear and tear on the bottom there. And that'll remain the bottom. The top looks pretty good. This is it in the cleaning process. So it still has to be rinsed off with the hose. But we used a solution of the Dawn vinegar and hot water to scrub and clean it. And then once it's dry, it looks like this. So it's pretty pale um, looking like that. It's up on the thing. And then this is, um, it's stained. So it looks literally brand new. So it's great. It's gonna look really good when we put it up. All right, so this is new fencing that I bought, new bamboo fencing. So I did apply the same stain to it. And at this end here, I didn't do the stain. And here I did. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I bought all of this to put up and it's gonna go up along the fence here. So it should be good. Mind you, I was going for more privacy in my backyard, so that's why I chose to do this to buy the six foot bamboo fencing. You do have to stain it because when it's out in the sunlight, it will fade very quickly. So I stained it with the same semi transparent stain I got for my reconditioned fencing. I also dug up the earth before I installed it and I put in solar lamps. I'm going to put in mulch, you'll see that in a moment, and I lined it with rocks. I also attached the bamboo fencing to my previous chain link fence that is there with galvanized wire. It was a task. At the top, you'll see on the right hand side, that's my reconditioned fencing next to my new fencing. And then at the bottom is the before image. So that's the four foot versus the six foot. Definitely more privacy there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please feel free to comment with any questions below. See you next time.